फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर पवन कुमार कंसल्टेंट कार्डियक सर्जन एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कार्डियोवास्कुलर सर्जरी लीलावती हॉस्पिटल आई बिन प्रैक्टिसिंग हार्ट सर्जरी स्पेशली हार्ट वॉल सर्जरी सिंस लास्ट 32 टू ईयर्स इन मुंबई एंड हैव ट्रीटेड मोर देन 10,000 केसेस बाय सर्जरी एंड सीन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पेशेंट्स ऑफ हार्ट वॉल डिसीज ऑल दीज पेशेंट्स हैव सर्टन क्वेश्चन इन देयर माइंड and uh, which are very uh, pertinent and burning questions and i wish to answer these questions through this uh, youtube uh, uh, media and social media so that they are aware what are the answers of their first question is that heart wall disease or heart wall diseases require heart surgery answer is yes and no more more of them the heart wall disease when the, it starts either whether it is a, a rheumatic heart wall disease or it is a degenerative heart wall disease they start gradually increase and then they uh, you know, involve the heart wall functioning wall gets narrowed or wall leaks in initial stages the it can be managed medically whether it is a stenosis or it's a leakage in the heart wall like aortic stenosis or aortic regurgitation or mitral stenosis or mitral regurgitation it can be managed medically in uh, certain cases an uh, early stage of disease a balloon uh, wall, uh, wall procedure valvotomy procedure can also be applied to these patients next question is that is heart wall surgery an open heart surgery very important question and many patients usually ask answer is yes all heart wall surgeries are open heart surgeries because the wall is situated between the chambers of the heart and we have to open those chambers to access that wall to whether to repair or replace the wall so to to reach the heart wall chamber the heart chamber we have to arrest the heart by putting patient on a heart lung machine and then uh, stopping the heart and opening that chamber whether it is aortic wall which is we access through aorta whether it is a mitral valve uh, we have to access through the upper chamber of the heart left atrium or it is a tricuspid valve we approach through right atrium so all these chambers are accessed only when heart is stopped and then we uh, access these valves and uh, do surgery on them third question is that how do you how do one decide that a damaged heart valve requires repair or replacement yes most of the times patients have a heart wall disease and they come and ask this question whether this heart wall can be repaired or ultimately you have to go for replacement yes in initial stages of stenosis i as i told you narrowing of the wall it can be repaired by surgically or uh, intervention uh, cardiologist can do uh, opening of the wall or uh, if there is a leakage which is a early stage of leakage it can be repaired by interventions or Uh, we can do surgical repair also but if uh, narrowing of the valve has reached advanced stage it has become the valve has become calcified and then uh, and uh, and the leakage is uh, almost uh, grade 4 leakage then probably it's a, a case of a heart valve replacement now fourth question is that is heart valve replacement surgery safe Um, almost uh, uh, 90% patients will ask this question and my answer with the ex- my experience of uh, over the last 32 years heart wall replacement surgery is very safe whether it is a single wall replacement or it's a double wall replacement or it's a triple wall procedure in 90% cases it is 100% success but in late stages of the heart wall disease where the when heart is in failure with the body comorbidities of lungs and kidney and brain and age there may be certain amount of risk involved in doing heart wall disease surgery uh, the replacement or repair surgery fifth question is that the heart wall surgery what precautions should be taken after heart wall surgery this is a very important question and almost all patients those who undergo heart wall replacement surgery ask this question my answer is that if your heart wall replacement surgery is done using tissue wall uh, which is uh, 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 bovine in nature uh, then you may require blood thinness 
tablets for three months. But if you have undergone a heart valve replacement, a mechanical heart valve, then you may require or you will require blood thinness medication or anticoagulation for lifelong to make this valve working throughout your lifetime. And it is not very difficult uh, regime or treatment and uh, it can be safely managed by doing your blood thinness testing uh, all the time uh, repeatedly at fixed intervals and uh, keep your surgeon involved in the management of your blood thinness and it can be done very safely. So these are the important points should be which should be kept in mind while when you decide about your heart valve surgery what kind of care and what kind of uh, uh, post-operative management can be should be done after your heart valve replacement surgery is done. Thank you very much. Next time again we will have take some more questions about heart valve surgery and uh, uh, patients have in their mind the important points to discuss with your surgeon. Thank you very much. Surgery.